Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and happy birthday if today's your birthday. Apologies that you have to see me look a little worse for wear here. The hair's a little crazy. It's, it's an interesting time here. But I'm wearing a brand new white tank top, which I mean, in comparison to the last one I had of this, let me just show you. This is the exact same tank top. <laughs> I mean, the color difference. You can tell I wore the shit out of it for years. I love it. <laughs> it has been a very exciting start to the morning because I just finished doing my taxes. How much fun. <laughs> no, it actually sucks. I hated it and it was not fun at all, but I got it done. And actually the morning did start off on a better note than that because I finished book number four in the Mindfuck series, which oh, such an insane ending. I can't wait to start the last book. I can't believe most of them with the whole series. It's so sad, but I'm just flying through them. They're so good. And then I sat down, got my taxes done. Very glad to just have that out of the way. Now Connor and I are going to head out to Trader Joe's, pick up some stuff that we need, just some goodies for the day. We don't really have a specific list, which honestly is usually not a great plan when going to Trader Joe's. You should sort of have an idea of what you're looking for, but that's okay. We're living life on the edge of this Sunday. Let's do it. Making some solid progress on the Trader Joe's haul here. We have some pretty flowers. Obviously, I'll do a big haul when we get home. I'm getting hungry though. Me too. All of this grocery shopping is making me very hungry. <laughs> Back home with a pretty big Trader Joe's haul here. I'm very excited for a lot of the goodies that we got here. First up, I wanted some grapes. I think spring is coming and grapes are gonna be good again. Well, I guess spring is here actually. Spring is here. Beef man? Mmm. Yeah. Wow, it's so delicious. You guys know I get super addicted to grapes. So I'm very excited for these. Got ourselves a nice baguette as well here. Some really pretty tulips, yellow tulips, which I always love. Some snacks that we got for today. We have this spicy lentil wrap, as well as this curried white chicken deli salad. Also looking really good. Got a tomato for sandwiches this week. No, that's, uh, I think we're gonna for the, uh, what do you call it? Caprese? Caprese. Okay, great. Even better. Uh, this is for dinner tonight because we're going to be making our pad thai. We haven't made it in months, yeah. so we're very, very excited. Um, just figured I would grab all that sort of pre-made, make it nice and easy for us. Couple bags of their white cheddar mac and cheese with so good. Got some pepper jack cheese with sandwiches, some prosciutto. I think for snacking and sandwiches, whatever we want to use it for, you know. So um, my sparkling watermelon juice has not been found in quite some time, which I'm very sad about, but we're going to try this sparkling that. strawberry juice, which hopefully will be delicious as well. I'm sure it will be. Found this pineapple salsa. Never tried it before, but thought that would be yummy. Try on some stuff this week. Tara told me about this, so I had to try it. Ranch seasoning blend, very intrigued. Of course, had to stock up on some more of our dumplings that we have with our sushi and some of the sriracha baked tofu. Got some arugula for salads this week, olive tapenade, pizza sauce, and we got that pizza dough again it's somewhere in here, which was so good last time. I'm so excited for that. Some medium salsa, some more chocolate ice cream, always delish. Mm. We were almost out of minced garlic, so just picked up a fresh container of that. Oh, here is a treat that we are going to be giving ourselves. Jumbo cinnamon rolls. Oh. oh, I love cinnamon rolls so much. I'm so excited for that. Some more kimchi. Never tried this brand before. Oh, it's Trader Joe's brand. So never tried it, but I have high hopes as always. Some frozen broccoli, the Argentinian red shrimp, which has been my favorite shrimp for years. So, so good. And some burrata, again, for our caprese salad that we're gonna make as part of our little lunch snacking situation. Got some ciabatta buns for sandwiches this week. Connor wanted to try these. These are new. Spring gummies, a soft and chewy gummy candy. Should we try one? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my God. These are no joke. They are delicious. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. How good is that? Yeah. They remind me of like Easter candy. Mm -hmm. Spot on. You weren't even sure me uh kind of. I know because I usually like to get um, Give me a look. I Give me a look. I usually like to get the sour gummy candies. But those are amazing. Okay, here's that pizza dough I was talking about. This is the garlic and herb pizza dough. Guys, this was truly one of the best pizzas that we have ever made at home when oh, we yeah, use that dough. So, so 
you're out to try it. Some peppered salami. We got a lot of different kinds of meats here. Okay, I got some sharp cheddar slices for something that I saw on TikTok that I want to try this week. I'm going to leave you in suspense. Though. We'll try it on the vlog. Not this vlog, but another vlog. Beefless ground beef. I've said it before. I will say it again every time. The best veggie ground round that exists. Organic banana chips. Connor got these. Cucumber, of course. Got some of this. Okay, here's another new thing. Synergistically and slightly sweet flavored seasoned popcorn. Mmm. <laughs> Tangy, salty, smoky, spicy. I need to get some off. It was really good. What else? It's a big haul. Their um, shredded pizza cheese. Really delicious. Of course, had to get some avocados for the week here. Ready to go. Golf strawberry licorice twist. Tom's favorite Trader Joe's candy. Can't leave Trader Joe's without that. And then the last thing in here is just this Southwestern chopped salad. I used to get this all the time when I used to chop, shop at Trader Joe's every week and loved it. So I thought this would be great for your lunch this week as well. Oh, I like there's one other thing in here. Oh yeah, some curry sauce. They were all out of my yellow curry sauce. So we're gonna try the red. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna put this stuff away and then start on our little snacky lunch feast. Very excited. Okay, first food of the day and it is already like 3.30. So I'm very hungry. We have some leftover sushi from last night. These are the spicy lentil wraps. They're actually a pretty good size for having two of them in there. No kidding. Then we have the curry chicken salad. Some bread to spread that onto if we want to. And this is where we're starting. There's gonna be more snacks to come though, many of course. Waves, many waves. <laughs> many waves of food today. Wrap, spicy lentil wrap. I give it a six out of 10. I was gonna that say. That might be generous. Yeah. Five? Yeah, like a five. It's not very good. It's a little <clears throat> lackluster. It's not a lot of flavor. Yeah, don't think I would get that again. But the like curry yeah. chicken salad is really delicious. Mm -hmm. I'd give that like a... 7.58. I was gonna say 7.5 or eight. That's so weird. I was gonna give it that exact same rating. Yeah. We're objective when it, when it comes to the... Trigger, when it no. comes to food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like obsessed with it but it tastes really delicious, so. Yeah, it is yummy. And it's such and like it's an easy. And it's good by itself, as well as with the bread. Yeah, I agree. A little bit later, changing to sweats and just like fixed my hair because it was bothering me how wild it was. I really, really need to wash it. The time has come. Has <laughs> that ever happened to you guys where like, it just feels uncomfortable, like something being so crazy, like your hair or whatever it is? That happens to me. Anyway, um, I thought a fun activity today would be to cut these jeans. If you guys don't remember, I got these jeans in a recent Revolve package and they are probably six or seven inches too long on me. So we're going to just cut them and I was thinking maybe like distress them a little ourselves. And we're just gonna see what happens because I really like them. I like the fit of them, but yeah, it's just, it's not working with the length. So we're gonna start by putting them on and then like measuring where we wanna cut. We're gonna take it from there. Here's a reminder of how long they are on me. I mean, it's insane. So I have cuffed up here. This is probably like five or six inches. Um, it's still gonna be a little long, but I figured I'd rather cut it a little long and trim some more if I want to, or like fray it a little bit rather than cut it too short and then it's just too short. So this is the length we're gonna go for. And then I'm thinking about cutting like a slit here maybe on my thigh. I think that'd be sort of fun just for a little something extra. So let's do it. Got my fabric scissors here though. So I think I'm just gonna create like one little slit where I want these to be cut. And now we're gonna flip it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're covered in Molly Kai hair already, of course. <laughs> and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna cut straight across. I'm just gonna go for it, you guys. I really need a new pair of fabric scissors. These are not very good anymore. Okay, hmm. these scissors are not working. <laughs> we have two other scissors here. We're just gonna see if these will work better. Oh yeah, already so much better. Okay, hopefully this is a good length on me. <laughs> now I'm just gonna flip this over here. I'm doing my best to repeat. Ha ha! Okay, and now for the little slit that I was sort of thinking about. 
We're just gonna go for it, whatever. And I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We're just gonna put them on and see what the deal is. Okay, length, pretty good. They're a little long still, but I think that works like more than with like booties, my platform converse, whatever, it's fine. Um, this slit, I really wanted it to be like more here. So that's my bad, but that's okay. I don't mind it. It does need to come further across though, like so. And then I think once this goes through the wash, it will have a little bit more detail to it. For now, I'm just sort of running my nail along like the edge here to help it fray up a little bit. There we go, and it's just a little detail. It's not supposed to be like overly obvious. Let me take this off so we can see. <laughs> There's a situation. Not so bad. Success, I, I feel like that was, that was, you know, mission accomplished. So it is like almost 4.30 now and I think I'm just gonna go chill for a little while and I'll probably check in with you guys when we make dinner. Hello everyone, it is the next day and we are here for a little, by little I mean big unboxing. <laughs> Sorry I dropped off yesterday. Um, Con and I didn't end up making that pad thai. We're gonna make it tonight instead because we were just um, snacking all day and weren't that hungry and you should be super hungry when you make the pad thai because it's just that good. And the rest of the day was pretty much spent on the couch, snacking, relaxing. It was perfect. Such a good weekend. Very, very relaxing weekend, which was very much needed because they will not be relaxing weekends for the next couple of weeks here. Boxes, so let's do it. Actually, a couple of these I won't be opening on camera because they're Coachella stuff. I have a bag here from Nasty Gal with some stuff that I ordered, as well as this guy from Beginning Boutique. I have some stuff from Revolve on the way, as well as some stuff from Amazon. So anyway, point being that I'm gonna do a big video where I try on every single thing that I ordered for Coachella, good, bad, ugly. Um, we're just gonna go through every single thing because I know there's gonna be a lot of returns involved. Very excited to open those though and see what's inside. Okay, first up here, I have a box from Quantum Energy Squares, which was a previous client of mine who I keep in touch with and they just are releasing a brand new look for their Quantum Squares. So they sent me their new packaging, which look at how cute it is. So this is some of their peanut butter dark chocolate, which is so good. I'm gonna have a link to their website down below if you're interested. They have the equivalent to a cup of coffee in every bar. They taste amazing, like brownies. They are so good. And you seriously feel the energy. It makes all the difference when I have one before working out, which is why I pretty much always have one before working out. Okay, next up here, I believe this is a package from Hero Cosmetics, which is my favorite, my favorite brand of acne patches. So they just sent me another box of their Mighty Patch. So good, love these. The best acne product on the market, in my opinion, right now. Who is this from? Oh yeah, Liquid IV. Ooh, Concord Grape. Never tried this flavor before, but thank you for the restock, Liquid IV. I always have this link down below as well with a discount code if you're interested in checking it out. Okay, and last up here is a package from Caraway, which I was not expecting, but we're gonna check it out. Oh, I think this is just some more organizers from the last package that I got from them where I got some new, um, I got a new pot and a new pan from them. So these are just the organizers that go along with it. And there is the unboxing. So um, it is already 11.30, this day is going really, really fast, but I am going to work a little bit on editing a video before lunch and then yeah, we'll make something just quick and easy for lunch today, I think. Just made lunch here, um, just a quick little veggie bowl. We have like brown rice, some arugula, onion, cucumber, zucchini, broccoli, and we're trying a bit of this um, pineapple salsa from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna give this all a mix. And I also threw a little bit of this like um, Italian vinaigrette on there. That's good. I'm excited to try that pineapple salsa on like fish tacos, like shrimp tacos. I think it's gonna be really good on that. Hello, I am just throwing some quick little makeup on because Connor and I are going to be meeting up with some friends and going 
to watch the last game in the March Madness thing. I don't know, what would that be called? The final? Finals? Final seems like multiple things, like we've already been in those. I don't know, you guys. The final. Anyway, <laughs> I just thought I would throw on a little touch of makeup. Been a nice productive day though. Got a ton of editing done this afternoon, which was lovely. Got that workout in, which was really good. First workout of the week done just like that and now we get to go have a little fun with friends which i'm really looking forward to considering that connor and i did absolutely nothing this whole weekend so it makes going out on a monday seem like a good idea going to be a fun time though because um actually i don't think anyone in our fantasy league had either of the two teams who are in the final two as their picks so it's just going to be really like fun there's no stakes um which also means that i have already won the March Madness bracket. Thank you very much. I was in first place every day since day one and I just stayed there the whole time. Just that good. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> my random selections pay off yet again. You guys know that I um, won the World Cup. Well, <laughs> a World Cup bracket that I did the last time the World Cup happened and those were less random selections but they were not based on teams being good or bad. It was more based off of cuisines that I like from different countries, places where Game of Thrones filmed, you know, information that I have ready because what soccer teams are good and which are bad, it's not up here. I did see the US just qualified for the World Cup for the first time in many years, so very excited for that, I guess. I, I actually not really excited at all, but in theory, excited. Every time with this mascara. Let's go get dressed and get out the door. No french fries? <laughs> and they even offered garlic fries. And you said no? Yeah. Do you even know me? Are we fighting? Anyway, chicken fingers, beer, and the game. Connor's about to lose his mind during this game. I mean, look at him. <laughs> God. Woo! All right. Woo! Love it. Can't wait to take you to the Woo! Let's get that beer down. Let's get home. <laughs> Back home and oh man, I am exhausted, you guys. I am just about to crawl into bed. Just gotta take my makeup off, but then Oh, sorry. I am so tired. <laughs> I am straight to sleep. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.